I am a big lover of Cobra Kai, not only because I'm a recurring character, but I watched it with my kids in the 80s. And now I'm getting street cred from 40 year olds because I'm on their show. So I concur. It's Wonder Fresh right here. What's up, Wonder Fresh? Thanks for coming out to our event. We really appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys. guys so um, for those of you that don't know I produced a film with a business partner called the elementals it's a sci-fi action sci-fi that we um, were able to produce independently on a two two-man army so um, now you know one year into the project we are now ready to premiere and we are premiering on the 30th I still need to find a venue for us to use. I went to a theater yesterday, and the theater yesterday only seats, oh, it seats 75 people, but it doesn't have a reception area for us to actually hang out, congregate, etc. So now we're on the way to Beverly Hills, of all places, to check out another theater. Apparently this place seats 50. And uh, joining us is Tim, the Tim, and then uh, my co-star Tim back there, one of my actors, Tim Cologne, uh, plays Rio. So guys, it's Tim P. Cologne, I play Rio in the Elementals. We will have tickets on sale on projectelementals.com in the link here in the video. So this is Beverly Hills. our fingers at this location does the project some justice. Right. What do you say? Let's, let's run it. Alright. Like even like, I'm curious to see what, what this looks like when we get into the lock. You know, what our guests are going to be seeing when they first uh, walk in. I don't know if we should have, should we have a dress code? Uh, for us. I, mean, I think, know? okay, for sure. So this, ideally, this is going to be where people park their cars. Check out the venue. Let's see, okay, so this is the lobby area right here where everybody would have to come in order to. Hey, hello again. How's it going? Okay, so this would be the venue. There are six extra seats, but it's an extra charge. Let's, um, let's, see, what it, let's see what it feels like in the center right here. Looks good, right? Yeah, it does. Is that is actually really beautiful. <clears throat> hey, so I'm liking this menu so far. This looks good. Yeah. Okay. Imagine. That's a pretty nice size screen, and the sound system in here is supposed to be Atmos. All right, Eric. Where are we going now? Because we've just checked out this first theater, so, so we want to know. Okay, so this first theater it can work, but the bottleneck in this first theater is simply that the reception area that you guys just saw it's a little too small for 100 people we could have 100 people but you know at the same time we're on our way right now to check out a bigger theater that they have on their venue or as far as their their options on their venues that they offer this spot seats up to 410 people but the difference is um you have to rent out the entire theater for 400 dollars an hour at this place you can rent the theater for one hour and then rent the reception separately uh, for a much, much cheaper price. So we're gonna go have a look-see, and hopefully that, you, you know, I really hope that the lobby is big enough that we can mass invite people. So what, was it, what were your thoughts? Uh, the theater was actually very beautiful, but um, like you said, the, 
the area where the area where we will all be hanging out and talking and all this is a little bit too small for a yeah. hundred people. But it's one of these two theaters that, that that's gonna be our winner, and they're literally like a block away from each other, so which is a good thing too. <laughs> This wow. is the option two. This, this is option two, and um, I don't know if it's got enough seats for what we need, but um, <laughs> what's, what's up right now? What's that? That's just the curtain. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it opens the screens underneath it. This is a nice theater. It kind of reminds me of the Chinese theater a little bit, or even even <laughs> Westwood. <laughs> That was a pretty cool theater, so what do you think, Eric? So I think the theater works. The only thing is it's gonna be a little more expensive. Now the good news is that if we get that theater, we control everything. We control the projectionists. Um, it's all included in one price. So we have the lobby, we, we can congregate in the theater, people can go in there and take pictures, etc. cetera. We, we can have the, the red carpet outside. Um, we can have food, drinks, etc. as long as we have the insurance. That might be the better way to go. The only thing is parking. Parking at that theater would cost us $8 per car, or we can use that other parking garage for $4 a car. Meanwhile, Tim, Tim too, what do you think? Either or it would work, but I feel like this one. For sure. I, I agree too. Wonder Fresh right here. What's up, Wonder Fresh? Thanks for coming out to our event. We really appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys. Hey guys, we are in Hollywood, California for a Hollywood premiere for Eric's new film that's going to be released tonight, The Mentals. And we are excited and stoked to watch this and to meet some people and get some reactions. And this is really special to us uh, here at Wonder Fresh because as you can see, one of the actors and co-creators of The Elementals is Eric Fetterman. Uh, you've seen him on many of our episodes here with Wonder Fresh, so... Without further ado, we are ready to hit the red carpet. At ProjectElementals.com. Elementals.com, baby. Get out. Yep. You got it. Let's go. Are you proud of him? Like... Of course, I'm so proud of him. Yeah? Of course, I am. Um, you know, and it's such a raw talent that he has. And, um, you know, over the years that he's been here and he decided to come here from uh, from the Bay Area and from Sacramento, yeah, it, it was a really, really good opportunity that he had a chance to meet Jordan last year. And then their focus went to the films. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. Um, so did, let me ask you this. Did he, did he get his creativity from you? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> Where else can you get it? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to know. But thank you so much for answering all those questions. Um, thank you. And we're, we're so excited to see you. Yes, and I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Kayla, what was your favorite on-set story? Uh, oh my gosh, probably seeing all the elementals, just having to like go after each other and just being able, starting seeing them fight, you know, fight. Um, and just uh, really kind of come into their own, especially with the scenes that were all together. Um, that was really cool because we had to balance off each other's energy and no one could full focus or no one could, you know, steal the show in essence. Everyone had to do a bit of a give and take and I think it's really cool when a cast can be more of an ensemble and it's not like a solo show. So yeah. What makes the elements so special to you? Uh, the Elementals is special to me because it's a it's, it's an original story, you know, inspired by true life events as far as social events. Because the world of the Elementals is more such a, it's you would think it's a off, off the surface, it's a fight film or action film, which it is, but it's much deeper than that. And the fact that we got to pull together with whatever resources that we had and get to this finish line, you know, that feeling of success, you, you can't top that. And I mean, it's just, it's an honor and a privilege to get this done with my man here. And just to see what the world, how the world receives this project is, that's the next that's next step. How, how was it collaborating, collaborating with Jordan? Yeah, uh, it was good, especially with this guy here, because this guy really helped hey, us out too. Hey, you guys yeah. remember him from the locations shopping? 
Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is part of the same, same episode. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so so we've been running it, we've been running it hard. So this ended up being the venue that we chose. Not all the other ones, we were like going out everywhere. This is the now, one. That was a mess. This is the one. This is the one, and we ended up, you know, like getting the, picking up the carpet, all of that. Ready? One, two, three. He came here to support us, so. I am. It. A big lover of Cobra Kai, not only because I'm a recurring character, but I watched it with my kids in the 80s. And now I'm getting street cred from 40 year olds because I'm on their show. So I concur. It's great. Oh, I love Cobra Kai. I'm a huge, huge fan of Cobra Kai, straight up. You gotta keep going. You gotta they, keep they, going. They have, you guys yeah. have to keep going. Now, one of the things is all these guys that are in their 18 and 20, mm -hmm. they're all gonna look like me sooner or later. You can't be playing Cobra Kai, you gotta hurry up. 100%. I'm so glad you all showed up and, and we're grateful that you guys showed up to support. Um, you know, also this film, if you guys like what you see, you guys can share it to your own audiences through social media and, and direct them to projectelementals.com. So without further ado, let's see this thing. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my God, I think Special effects were so great. It was like an epic moment. The explosions, the movement, the action was so full and packed. It's like, I want to see it again. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, one thing about, I like new films that come out. I like what the possibility of what it can be. And one thing I, I, I liked about it was the fact that it was the action and the and the storyline. The storyline is very important. And this is definitely a, uh, has a storyline that'll keep you in tune on what's going on. It's kind of old school Marvel. It's, there, it's so many things that I think that everybody who watches it, especially anybody who's into like genre, they're gonna find exactly what they want in this. And I love the fight sequences. I, I, so I used to be a competitive fencer. So I'll, when I watch stuff that has any kind of like chore choreography to it, I'm like very, very critical. That was great. Those were like, I, I want to know like, things like, like uh, how much time have these studied martial arts, like what styles. Um, I was very, very impressed with it. Oh man, it was very enjoyable. It's definitely a combination of the martial arts, social commentary, uh, science fiction, of course, uh, superhero. Uh, just kudos to the filmmakers for taking their budget and just utilizing a very entertaining story that, and giving the audience some levity. My favorite part was the introduction because you got to see kind of the layout of the cocky bastard versus the oh you're the underdog so that kind of laid out the whole thing for us because then we have the power struggles yeah. and life is about power struggles I mean, it's such beautiful eye candy it's so well produced i'm astounded what they said the budget was if that's amazing to me um the fight choreography is astounding and I just love the whole premise of it. It was very smart. All right, guys, that does it for this episode. It's a super energetic night tonight. We're so happy you were with us on this. Yeah, wow. And the elementals, I mean, it was freaking awesome. You guys got to check it out. ProjectElementals.com. Go support our boy Eric. He's been on a bunch of episodes. You know we love him. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe when you want to see more content like this. Uh, we love to explore. We love to see new things. So uh, check us out. Like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what you guys think of this. We'd love to hear your feedback. So yeah. until next time. Until next time, keep it fresh, wonder pressures. All right, see Bye. you guys. Bye. The entire world is watching to see who will be this year's elemental champion. I will be introducing you to this year's fighters. One of the reasons they created this tournament was to constantly keep them against each other. Spark a rivalry. They're getting stronger. We have had this under control for over a century. What are you so worried about? Another revolution. Rio. The one and only, Harness and Fire. The nephew to the owner of one of the largest banks in Nigeria. Well, very strong, but very, very arrogant. He just welcomed a new son. He's my greatest inspiration.
Stream the Elementals at projectelementals.com.